Oh, I now have to collect that accessory again. Ah, oh, sigh. Alright, let's do this again. Well, first I need to heal up first, uh, that should probably be my first... Blah, blah, be my first priority. Gotta recover all those bombs I used up. So, there should be a circle here. There it is. Let's go back. Uh, one thing to note, that if you're grinding up your characters and you happen to pick up an item drop or something, It'd probably be in your best interest to um, go outside the dungeon and save that item drop you picked up. Because when I was grinding up in stage 11, I actually picked up a um, an item from those Angel Knight guys. And it was an Angel Shield. Basically it was the light version of the Earth Shield that I picked up in stage 11. Which was kind of neat, but I lost it because I died. <sighs> so... Remember, folks, if you... Oh, I forgot about that chest! I should probably go grab that first. Oh, man, this is way too early in the morning. There we go, got that ring of undine again. Let's try to not die this time. Oh, God. Come on, fuzzball. Get away from the staircase. That's good enough. Uh, no! No! <sighs> Ooh, this is a lot of enemies. Ice. Ice. Now I'm using ice here because Marissa's ice AoE attack is actually really huge compared to all of the other ones. Column attack. Uh, ice. That should hit everything. Good. Ice. Hopefully this should do it. I'm really hoping this kills everything. Come on. Come on! No, oh, that got rid of everything. That's great. Eh, must have tried died from this death. Funzies. Oh man, that thing is almost dead. Wow. As you can see, the toy chaser is. It gets kind of ridiculous if you keep stacking it. Oh, speaking of which, Notori Chaser. Right, you know Biakran's elemental enchant um, skills or spells. Yeah, that Nutori can actually actually chase elemental enchanted um, physical attacks as well. So that is something you can totally abuse. It's it's definitely something scary because at like level 30, uh, 30 something, I think like 32, Yomu learns um, Slash of the Eternity at like level 30 something. And it uses the Human Realm Sword Stance, which is the one that gives you massive crit. Yeah. Um, you see, the thing is, Slash of Eterni Eternity hits 3 to 5 times. So, that's already very good if you stack it with um, the Human Realm Sword Stance, which has a high chance of critting. Of getting critical hit, sorry. Oh, hello. Four point. Anyway, that's all I was saying. Slash of Eternity hits 3 to 5 times. If you combine that huge crit rate and then combine that with Victoria chasing after it, that is huge damage. I am missing an item, aren't I? Yeah, I'm, I'm missing an item. There's a second item here. I have to go back to the start of stage 12. Righto. Need to get back to the start. I'm sorry about my commentary today. I feel a little bit iffy. Probably because I stayed up all night tra watching um, StarCraft 2. Oh, hello. There's that chest. Do you see that chest? Do you see it? Do you see it? I see it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not falling for this. You're going down. This eye uh, commander bomb is so damn useful, I swear. Uh, lightning. Full screen lightning. Seven patrolly. Excellent. <clears throat> Items right in front of me. And we have a shield of something. Oh, it protects against... What's that? 
Wait, what, what element is that? Hang on. Oh, darkness element. Duh. <laughs> yeah, this shield protects against dark type attacks. Oh my god, how did I... Wait, does it? No, it doesn't. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, that's lightning. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, this protects against lightning attacks. Oh my god. This is... Yeah, actually, cause this is way too early in the morning for me. I know it's like 11 o'clock here, but seriously, this is way too early in the morning for me. Oh no, not this again. I can mana bomb. Right, now we've got both items. And we've got the warp point and the save. Directly up there is the boss. So yeah, stage 12, very, very short. Thank God. So, I'm going to go save my items real quick. There. Now go back in. <sighs> okay, stage 12. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get back up there. Right. <clears throat> Stage 12. Yeah, this boss is a little bit tricky. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. See what happens. Cutscene time! Yay! Everyone loves cutscenes in this game. Ugh, I don't. Uh, so we've arrived at the Moria Shrine. Oh jeez. Blah de blah de blah. Question mark face? Blah blah blah. Keep moving. Come on. There we go. Oh it's hey, it's those two. They're having a nice conversation. Oh, they're drinking tea. It's like, I'm, it's like I'm really playing a canon Toho game. <laughs> yes, this tea is very delicious. Nom nom nom. Oh! Angry face! <laughs> okay. That's enough chit chat. It's time, it's, it's time to get some serious business up in this place. There we are. We're on the tea time. Yeah, um, the thing about this boss fight is that I heard that if you bring Sane in a party, she does something really weird and will like randomly heal them for like 10,000 HP. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, it's probably not a good idea <laughs> to bring in Sane. <laughs> but. There's always a way around it. There always is. Whoa. Ramo is like really angry. <laughs> I don't know why, but whatever. Need to calm down, y'all. I have no idea what's going on, and I don't really care either. But, hopefully the boss fight should start very soon, because I'm losing my patience. Whoa, Suwako's hat can express expressions. That's kind of neat. Oh, now they're talking to each other. Ah, <laughs> oh, Suwako. Oh god, angry Kanaka face. Oh man. That's scary. Oh god. <laughs> It was so peaceful before Reimu and her buddy showed up. What the hell? Seriously, Reimu. You're like a troll. A massive troll. Or something. Right. Shall we get started? Oh, Satoru's gonna read their minds. Nope, you're useless. <laughs> Satoru's so useless. You can't read a god's mind. Get out of town. This is getting really long now. Oh, suddenly, serious face. Let's do this. Now this is just a demo, because there are two ways you can go about this fight. And well, I just want to show you something. Now, seriously, this is like the most awesome in-game sprite ever. Hang on, let's see. There it is. Look at that. Freaking Kaneko is surfing on her own 
for Shearer. Seriously, that is super seriously awesome. Look at that. Oh man. Best battle sprite in the game ever. Okay. So. Now these two are... These two together, they're very dangerous, to be quite honest. Now. Oops. Um. Um. Okay, let's just let's just see what what's happening. Okay, first of all, first of all, Kaneko is weak to dark dark type attacks. Suwako is weak to the free element uh, free weapon attributes, so you can abuse that. However, Kaneko basically deals the actual damage. Suwako is is actually there to like cause status effects and whatnot. So it's up to you which one you want to take out first. Of course, there is an easier way, but I will get to that after I lose this fight. Because I just wanted to show you what Kanaka does, which is very dangerous. Which hopefully she will do before I die. Oh. Whoa, 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 what the crap! That was awesome. And Silako didn't do anything there. Okay. And let's just let's just keep going. Oh, that's acid rain. Defense down. Oh, by the way, so Tura can learn acid rain from those um, red slimes in Eante. Just letting you know that now. Um, did she just shoot a freaking cannon at me? That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Come on, Kanako, do your thing. I want, I want to show the people at home what the hell you do. So do your thing. Oh, the classic hurts like hell. Yee, what the hell? Where the hell was that? That's the thing. Okay, when Kanako charges up, you know some some crap is gonna go down. Big bang. Let's do this. Now, when Kanako charges up, she will do something like this. Hopefully before I die. There we go. BAM! Now by the way, that charge attack is like a really huge AoE. So, yeah. How are you gonna deal with that? Kaneko does ass loads of damage. I'm not gonna lie. That... Well, there's a few ways. You can do it normally. And you can try to like use Alice or something to use art for, uh, not art for sacrifice, sorry, little Legion to soak up all the damage and then just revive her the next turn. Also, by the way, Satori can actually learn that charge attack that Kanako just used. So, yeah, if you want to learn it, you're gonna have to do it the long way. <laughs> well, not the long way, just you just have to learn and then just take him out as quickly as possible. Yee, yee, that was close. Why did... Oh wait, this is stage 11. Stage 12, I killed off everything, so... I should not... And I just realised that the stage 11 has a teleporter, like, right there. Why the hell did I not take it? Ugh, I'm just not thinking today. Oh well, let's just keep moving. There, back to where we started. Now give me one second, and I'm gonna go prepare my party in the most... Well, I'm, I'm gonna say this is not gonna be the most optimal party that I can think of, but it gets the job done, so give me a second.